All right, here we are today. We have one of the last really nice warm days out here. That's not gonna happen again. Um, and in addition to some yard work stuff to get done, I thought I'd uh, take a second look here at Mellow Yellow, the Sears uh, yellow box van. Uh, this has got lots of problems, including how dirty and messy the grate is. This stuff is literally caked on here. Some of it could be paint and varnish, because this came out of a, um, a woodworking shop. Um, uh, but some of this might uh, just might come off of here. Um, however, I'm not going to go through all the energy of cleaning the front and back grate uh, until I know that the motor is going to run. Uh, this is a fan that might just, you know, just might be smart to get a donor fan uh, for grates and a motor. Um, it's very stuck. So the job today will be to see if we can get the blades off. And if we can, then we'll see if we can get the motor part. And if we can, we'll see if it frees up and if it's even close to a running machine. Um, no attempts have been made at this point. Um, the cord, like the rest of it, has just junk all over it. So, I mean, I think we'll just throw a new cord on there. It doesn't look, it doesn't have any brakes. It's just got this black crap all over it like the rest of the fan. Uh, so that's the deal with Mellow Yellow here, I think I'm calling it today. And uh, so stay tuned for more. We'll see how this uh, materializes. All right, here it is. Uh, I've, evidently, I didn't take the rear grate off last time because there's still a lot of sawdust <laughs> caked in there. Uh, I thought I'd taken both sides off, but obviously I didn't. Uh, uh, finding cardboard and wood chips um, but yeah as you can see this thing is just a, a huge mess um, I don't have an air compressor so I use a brush um, yeah, as you can see there's lots of lots of dirt here as you can see uh, but there is a motor under there the problem is that there's so much dirt sorry you can't really hear my voice but uh, we're gonna see what it's like when we get the motor apart assuming we can get the grade knocked off and that's the extent to which they spin actually not quite as bad as when I found it which is interesting um, when I first took it apart it was real bad so uh, it might be uh, freeing up a little bit, but you wouldn't want to run it with all that sawdust in there, because yikes, right? So, again, that's why this one might be just, just be a candidate for a new motor, a new grate, you know, a donor fan. Not that a fan like this, you know, these uh, Continental Kit box fans aren't cheap, even the Galaxies, so it's not that viable an option, but it might be the only option we have. So there you go, there's Mellow Yellow, step one. We'll see if we can get the blades off. So unlike a lot of these plastic bladed fans, the, uh, the retainer clip, the pressure clip, is on the outside, which will make it easier to remove. You just use a pair of these and squeeze it so that it spreads and pull it off. But I just tried with one hand and it's not gonna work. So I need two hands, stay tuned. Simple enough popped right off of there, so now we'll try and push the blades off from the other side. So here they are, off the fan. Uh, we've got a lot of that black colored stuff on there that we have all over the rest of the fan. Um, but it might, <laughs> it might come off, as you see. Uh, just to give you an idea how bad this really is, um, there's so much dust in here, uh, and it's really literally sawdust, bonkers. This fan is full of it, and the other fan that came with this was the uh, the green Westinghouse, the Little Riviera, the little floor fan, and that thing, you know, it totally caked in sawdust. So, you know, uh, without a, you know, without a air compressor, it's hard to say whether be able to get this clean enough um, but for now we're gonna we're gonna try anyway um, so there's your yellow blades yellow blades all right then 
All right, here's your plastic motor. Um, with after a little dusting off, uh, I'm trying carefully to dust this way to not push any more dust into the motor than you can, you can avoid, right? Um, again, you can still see that the the windings are. Uh, you can't really see that, but we'll be able to show it to you in a second. Uh, so yeah, lots of problems with that having all that crap in there. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to clean up, if at all. As you can see, it makes some sound. Oh yeah, it sounds bad. It's really dry in there. Uh, so we're going to try to get the motor off. Um, the wiring goes up through a grommet into the uh, penthouse control dealie. Uh, again, the wiring also all covered in dust. We have the power cord here, which runs up. Um, and the return comes from the motor here. Um, and that seems to be spliced with an automotive type splice there. So um, that's sort of how that looks. Um, so I do plan to put a new cord on this. I have a white cord that'll work nice. Uh, so let's see if we can get the motor apart without breaking the housing. That's really the issue. This is a one shot deal. You break the housing, you don't got a motor. Um, and I'm. I'm a little on the clumsy side, so it's likely that I'm going to screw this up pretty badly. We'll see. All right, so uh, there you go. The reason the motor worries me is I was just watching another YouTuber's video. He's got a yellow one of these. Uh, great video. Guy does good videos. Uh, and he uh, was saying that he took his motor apart to clean and oil it and broke part of the plastic. Um, so that's really what worries me. Uh, but fuck it. We're just going to do it. I'm just going to pull it, so we'll see how we do.